A common way to determine density estimates for cervid species, such as white-tailed deer, elk, mule deer, is to use helicopters such as the one shown here. Simply put, the helicopter flies transects over an area and every sighted deer is counted. This survey method can be effective at covering large areas quickly and spotting animals, but there are some drawbacks. Helicopter aerial surveys tend to underestimate population densities for cervids, and helicopters are also loud and can induce stress and that can lead to unnatural behaviors in the animals. These issues can be addressed in a few ways. The issues of underestimating population densities is almost inherent of this survey method. The ecosystem looks different from the air than on the ground. Dense cover, time of day, and distance from the transect also affect these population estimates. One way to reduce these errors and issues is to use a double observer method or at least a minimum of two observers. The benefits of using double observers or multiple observers is the reduced area each observer has to monitor as opposed to a single observer monitoring, monitoring the entire area. By reducing the area that has to be monitored, you can increase the accuracy of the survey and increase the potential detection probabilities of the animals. This method isn't without its drawbacks as well. Using double observers requires additional workforce and it opens the survey to more bias. The bias of that is introduced into this survey by having multiple observers is the detection probabilities themselves. Bias such as experience of the observers and the alertness during the survey can lead to varying results. Another issue, another way to address the issues of helicopter surveys is the use of UAVs. Wildlifers can benefit from the use of UAVs because they can fly similar transects to helicopters and as well as being quieter and less invasive than helicopters, so they induce less stress on the animals as opposed to what is seen in this clip. The animals in this clip are clearly stressed and are trying to get away from the helicopter in behaviors that seem almost unnatural to them. Some of the drawbacks of UAVs are the reduced range and fly time as opposed to helicopters. They can only fly for so long before they need to come down, change batteries, and continue on their flight. So it's opposed to one long survey in a helicopter, a UAV is a series of multiple smaller flights on the same transects. UAVs are also limited by the field of view of the cameras, as opposed to an observer sitting in a helicopter. My recommendation to address the issues of aerial surveys to have the best possible results for conducting density estimates on surveys on surveyed species is to use helicopters with multiple observers. By using multiple observers, you are increasing the detection probability of the animals, increasing the accuracy of the survey, and increasing the total area that is monitored or observed on each side of the helicopter. I would like to thank these researchers and scientists for publishing these articles that aided me throughout this project and being able to create this video. Thank you for making it to the end of this presentation. If there are any questions, please comment them down below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Thank you.